since 1977. Yes. <laughs> and recently, our afternoon focus team got very up close and personal for all of the tire throwing and the truck pulling festivities and all of it actually for a really, really great cause. Check it out. Today we hosted our first annual strongman comp um, and we include a fundraiser so we want to do something for the community to raise money but also at the same time opening up strongman and, and strength sports to the community. First strongman comp. Yeah, first strongman comp ever. So event one was a press medley uh, starting with a brake drum and then a circus dumbbell and a weighted tire. Then event two was what's called a Conan's wheel. So it's you hold it up in front of you on your arms, walk with it as far as you can. You got. Event three was a car deadlift, but it was a Volkswagen Jetta. Yeah. Event four was a max rep stone over bar. For my weight class, it was a 200 pound stone. <laughs> event five going on behind me right now that I'm about to go do is a arm over arm truck pull uh, with a UPS box truck. Truck pull is my favorite part. Something about pulling 1,800 pounds, and like I'm gonna be telling everybody all week that I'm pulling truck. So that's my favorite part. The fundraiser is for a scholarship that's actually run by my family. My dad grew up very poor in Trinidad. His mother had a middle school education and worked really hard to get them good education so they could get over to the States and get degrees and build a life. And this is kind of seeing the fruit of their labor grow. I'm one of two children from Avis Brebno. My sister passed and we wanted to do something on behalf of her. So we did a scholarship in, in the school that she attended, the secondary school that she attended. We did that for four years, and the last two years we've spread out through the U.S. The scholarship is to individuals who are minorities and underserved people. Uh, these are kids who are normally first generation going to college. But we work with these individuals to make sure that they have emotional support, encouragement, upliftment, so that they will succeed in whatever endeavor in life they intend to pursue. We want people to know that it's not just for really big, strong men. Anybody can do it, any age. So we had really young kids all the way to like six years old and all the way up to 64 years old. So it's very wide. People can come with their whole family, enjoy the day, compete with their kids. I mean, it was a really good, positive day. I and mean, we want to bring that to the community. We want to get kids into fitness. And empower women because women feel like they can't lift weights. We had a 100-pound girl carrying double her weight. So just to motivate women that they are strong and they can do the same thing. We take on a lot of beginners because people are scared to jump in the spring sports. It's kind of an elite sport. Um, so we teach you how to train safely and how to get strong, how to have good nutrition. And so anybody can do it. And that's what today was about, was showing that anybody can do this. And hey, check it out. Wow. <laughs> There's the trophy. What do you have there? 3D oh printed. Oh my gosh. Very, very light, because after that, you're tired of lifting heavy stuff. So they, <laughs> they get the trophy light. You know, strong like a bear. I, like it, it's, it's impressive. When she, that, when she said elite sport, uh, yeah, yeah. No Blown kidding. away. Blown away. I, I mean, all of them blew me away. And then you see the women and the children, those yes. little kids. Are you kidding me? They don't, it, let, don't let strong man. Before you. No. I mean, we're talking about women and kids right. as well. So it's far more inclusive than that. Yes, yes. And it benefits minority students all over the country. How great is that? So they're training to do this competition, and then the money serves a great cause. I mean, all the way around, this is impressive. It really is. And thank you to our producer, Evan, for, for shooting that and doing a Evan great job. Evan Sporge, with one that. of our it incredible is. afternoon focus producers, went out and filmed that, edited that. And the, the, but the watch people. <laughs> like this 200 pound stone and oh. then and then that huge tire and then the dude pulling like the huge car i mean i, I just I like that kind of strength i'm like you know i get winded walking to the snack machine to work to get my doritos <laughs> and these folks out there are, are like lifting cars and 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 boulders i it really it's it's an it's impressive and they also mentioned the nutrition part as well oh, so you know what sure. i mean not just the the lifting but how to 
do right by your to body. Fuel. Yeah. Right. Mm. It's incredible what the human body can do, isn't it? When yes. you see how surely these folks are training for months and months or even years perhaps to do those impressive feats. Yeah. And you know, to start out, I would love to know how they first started, how they progressed, how quickly they were able to go from 100 pounds to 200 to journey. 300 to a car. <laughs> right Deadlifting a, a car. You can see his knees shaking. Oh. That, that was unbelievable. Wow. Oh. Well, 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 we learned. need to go to the gym, don't we? Uh, yeah, yeah, really. Keep the weights today. How about you at home? Huh? <laughs> cancel that post-show Krispy Krispy Kreme trip. Heck yeah! Not to seeing that, <laughs> bravo to all you folks. Yeah, and the kids. Oh my gosh. Well, now to a couple quick stories that are just fun to know.